Hello, everybody. I'm Krista with Community Now Magazine, and I'm joined today um, with Renee from Canadian Motorcycle Tourism Association and Rumble, Alberta. I'm really excited to have her, and we're going to jump online every week to talk about what Rumble, Alberta is doing and how you can get involved. Thank you so much, Renee, for joining me. How are you today? I'm wonderful. I'm so excited about all of the challenges that are coming up and the things that are rolling out with Rumble Alberta. As a tourism association, it's so rewarding to see so many people joining hands and lifting in the same direction. We've got um, some cool challenges like the Old Smokes Coffee Challenge. That one just really warms my heart because here's a, a guy that's roasting coffee, smoking coffee. And when I mean, I don't mean smoking coffee. I mean, he <laughs> smokes coffee. Um, anyway, they have this really wonderful line of coffee and he would like to expand his franchise and get his name out there more. And so he's challenged people to drink coffee at every little mom and pop coffee shop in Alberta. And if they do that and submit their photos and receipts to the history check app as they're, they're going, they'll earn points. And one lucky person is going to win a $500 Old Smokes coffee package for helping wow. support rural Alberta. That's amazing. It's, it's really interesting because you're also, it's not just about his coffee shop, right? It's about all of the coffee shops. And how do I support the industry mm -hmm. that supports and feeds my family is the way he looks at it, right? So that was just a heartwarming way to, to, to do things. And then we've got some really cool corporate challenges. So Holloway Lodging is one of our corporate partners and they've given us rooms uh, for a lot of our influencers and you know that sort of thing across the north of Alberta. But they also have given us some rooms to give away. Mm. Yes. And rooms in places that most people that have ever dreamed of going north, be it on a motorcycle or in a vehicle, would love to have because rooms are so hard to come by up there. You know, there's a finite amount of rooms and they're expensive. So we are able to give away some hotel rooms for Whitehorse in the Yukon, uh, Fort Nelson, Fort St. John, Grand Prairie, White Court to get them up there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, some rooms in Yellowknife. And again, some rooms in uh, Slave Lake and up into White, uh, Yellowknife so that they can go experience the midnight sun and really see what it's like to have 23, 24 hours of daylight. Yeah, that's amazing. And how do people win the hotel rooms? They simply have to take part in the Holloway challenges. So Holloway Lodging has a, a two, two different challenges where you can earn points for taking selfies with their signs, uh, selfies in the lobby. And if you actually rent rooms, you earn more points and that type of thing. But the person who earns the most points by touching the most Alberta-based Holloway hotels, and there's even a map for it on, on the Rumble Alberta site, um, if they go to the challenges tab, it'll drop down. They choose the Holloway uh, corporate challenge and it'll take them to three tabs, the two challenges that they're offering with what their prizes are, and then a map of where all of their properties are so that you can look at that and go, oh, well, you know, I might need to go and do this because I'm hitting a lot of those places this summer and uh, yeah, I want to go to the Yukon. I really like this event. I and I'm blown away by how much work has gone into it. You're promoting Alberta. You're asking Albertans to go and tour their own province. You're promoting local businesses and you're encouraging people to keep exploring while giving back to charities. Now, last time we talked about the different organizations that you're supporting, but I would like to re-talk about that because I think it's so important for people to know how many charities they're supporting by being a part of this event. There are six bona fide charities and three not-for-profits. So the charities are Search and Rescue Alberta, mm -hmm. Little Warriors Be Brave Ranch, MS Society of Canada, but Alberta chapter, Fresh Start Recovery, the Military Police Fund for Blind Children, and I'm missing one. 
I have to think about what the other one is at the moment. My brain is just a little overloaded. Mm -hmm. And then the other three are the Ride for Mum and the Rise Up, Rise Up Society, because that's who they support. And, oh, that's who it is. The Alberta First Nations, um, the Al Alberta Friendship Centers of uh, Association. And so that supports 21 friendship centers in Alberta. And then we have Wayside Fallen Riders Memorial Park in Two Hills, mm -hmm. Veterans Memorial Gardens here in Grand Prairie, which are two CMTA, Canadian Motorcycle Tourism Association um, projects. So we're looking to raise funds to support ourselves as a not-for-profit and to lift others in the sectors that we work with on a regular basis. Um, and so that's how we got into the whole guided giving. We really went and looked at how hard has the nonprofit and charitable sector been hit? Who's been hit the worst? What's needed the most right now? And where could we possibly make a difference? What connections do we have? What synergies do we have? And so that's where we've gotten a lot of the ideas from. We did a full blown market research. That's amazing. And how long is this event going on for? It ends October 3rd. And then on October 9th, we have a wind up rumble at Blackjack's Roadhouse in Nisku, Alberta. That's our presenting sponsor, along with Windspeaker Radio. And uh, Blackjack's is going to have entertainment and their menu, of course. And that's where we'll be giving away the prizes because we'll have had a chance to absolutely vet everything, make sure everything's right and then travel down to Blackjacks to start presenting prizes. If for any reason we have to do something digital, we also have that backup plan in place and then we'll just mail everybody their prizes, so. And how can people get involved? RumbleAlberta.com. If they just go there, they can purchase their event pass or they can join our community as a guest to kind of check things out. We have some prizes and some challenges that we're going to be rolling out starting next week just for guests so they can take a check and feel out, see if that's what they want to spend their hundred dollars on. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just encouraging people, even if they don't participate in the challenges, the maps are there and free to use. Go explore Alberta. Perfect. And, and I think we all need to go explore Alberta. It's so important, especially to go and see all the neat different mom and pop shops throughout. Thank you so much for your time. I can't wait to talk next week to find out who else has jumped in and is helping and what local business is making a difference. This is super exciting. Everybody go and get your passes for Rumble Alberta. We'll put the link in the comments below. Thank you so much. Thank you.